Hey guys, Monday, June 24, 2024. Let's check out that guys to see what's cooking. As you can see, we are at point of control within a one year market profile. That means this is the line in the sand right here. And this is going to be a battle between the bulls and the bears. If we bounce, uh, we might retest the high, maybe test this pivot here of 292, maybe test uh, 316, 315. But if this fails, there's more downside. This is uh, another value area low, which is a 336. So keep that in mind just in case. In regards to the simple glance chart, everything's pretty much the same. Trend is still up. It's just a little weaker. Uh, Hekanashi candles are full. MACD is still negative on the uh, weekly. We hit this area of resistance and we're trying to regain this value area high of 273. I think we're right now at 269 as of now before the US and the MACD is still negative. So there is potential for still weakness. PPSL signal still remains on the daily. We don't have one on the um, weekly nor on the monthly, just on the daily. Uh, below the cloud, but on the daily short term above the cloud. So this is the area I've been saying that if it ever goes down here, you got the 20 SMA, you got the 50, you got the linear regression channels, you got these key levels on the cloud, even this one down here, for maybe nibbling in uh, to regain the trend higher. Uh, let's go into our geometry chart here. As you can see, we failed the uh, midpoint from this uh, ABC or three uh, swing points here. And we got this uh, angle of the APF. And let's see if this is going to hold. If this doesn't hold, it's going to be dwindling down and maybe might find support here, but we don't know yet. We just got to see if this is going to hold. But that kind of lines up a little bit uh, with uh, this list linear regression channel here is just probably a little deeper. And lastly, looking at midpoint control, uh, midpoint chart, uh, it's kind of balancing off here of this uh, 75%, which is around that 265. Uh, Mobiles is still negative. Uh, Mobiles positive on the uh, weekly. Um, so if there was to be more down, you could take out, you could check out 255, 253. That's a projection wave four in the LA wave theory. Uh, but so far negative still selling. And on the four hour, we were getting a signal for a possible crossover, but the pressure's still down. Uh, today statistically is a down day, Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday is kind of mixed. It could be either down or kind of flat. Uh, but definitely statistics are telling us possible down days. So if this is going to play out and this was just a dead cat bounce, which I was talking about in my video on Saturday. These are possible targets to the downside, 260 all the way to 253. So keep that in mind. We've got a PPS. Look at the bears now. They're getting aggressive. PPS sell signal. You would wait for a little retrace and maybe in the U.S. session short. Uh, extreme just for today or targeted down be 262 uh, to 264. But let's see. It's not looking too good as of right now. It looks like it wants to kind of pop. But if it does pop for some reason, you got this target up here of uh, 274. Your midpoint would be 281. And you got the uh, 50 uh, moving average. And for today only, you need to close above uh, 272, at least to have some bullish momentum to test uh, Friday's high, which is uh, 277. So this is extreme target, and this is extreme target to the downside. And this is your midpoint. So this is going to be the battle zone between the U.S. session. I'm going to sign out. Look at that. They're still pushing it. And you obviously want to be above VWAP. Now that you're below VWAP, the probabilities are going to be maybe more downside. I'm going to sign out, leave your comments, leave me your thoughts, and I'll uh, keep you posted on my thoughts on natural gas.